soccer is all year round for me. It's been that way since I was basically seven. My mom said it kept me active and I was always like some hyper little kid so it was something to uh, get all my energy out and so that I could just kind of be normal at home. Back when I was 12, I was actually at a friend's house um, and I just had this sh sharp shooting pain straight down my back. They wanted to do a uh, CT scan of my head, which is when they found all the extra fluid and blood um, kind of in there and uh, did some more tests and, you know, kind of saw what had happened was actually the uh, artery had um, kind of ruptured. I had one surgery, it was 24 hours long, and then I had another surgery, um, to, uh, put a shunt in so it, uh, the spinal fluid would drain. I went through hours and hours of, you know, physical therapy, uh, which kind of led me into the kind of knowing I wanted to do something in the medical field. What I really would like to do is actually be a physician's assistant. Um, so I, that's a master's program after I would be done here. So a little bit more schooling. Getting back into soccer was hard. It was slow. I came from not being even able to walk all the way up to playing varsity soccer in high school. London was probably the coolest experience that I've had. A giant stadium filled with people, so loud you couldn't like hear what was going on on the field really. We didn't do great in London. So our team's goal, you know, is to medal at Rio. The Paralympic team has kind of given me, you know, if I didn't have it, you know, my soccer career would have been over probably after high school. It just really kind of helped me realize, like, you have to work for things. They're not given. I'm pretty young, so I still have a while to, you know, push and kind of work um, to get to that point. You know you have to push yourself and you will be able to do it.